I hate social media. It's like a big vacuum that can get you sucked up into nothing. I miss having a life, an actual life. I miss having a girlfriend. A proper girlfriend that I'm actually attracted to. Not the one that would open her legs the quickest, just the one that maybe I had to wait a little while for that to happen, but that I built a meaningful connection with. I miss having somebody to share things with. Somebody that I can trust and somebody that I know is not gonna betray that trust. I can do it, you know, I can balance her and school and everything else. I'm tired. My body is hurting. And although I say, you know, you're only as old as you feel, I kind of feel my age a little bit. And I get angry and I get aggressive and certain things I just don't, I, I have no patience for anymore, you know. And I guess I'm saying this on YouTube because this is the only real outlet that I have to say this in. And guys like being held too. Guys like being held and guys like being, I like cuddling. I never used to do it like that at all, but I remember I had one girlfriend, I think it was Andrea actually, I used to, I used to be asleep, I'd kick her right off me when I was asleep. Because I didn't like cuddling. But then I remember this, uh, this girl I used to date for an extremely short time. I, I used to be all about, you know, seeing how quickly I, I, I'm a guy, right? So, you know, a guy wants to get into a woman's pants as quickly as he possibly can. I was young, I was horny, I, young, dumb, and full of shit is, I guess, how that goes. And I'm sitting with her on her couch one night and we're watching a movie and I had no business with this woman. This woman was a businesswoman. She was, she was put together. She was, she was very pretty. She was very nice. She, very intelligent woman. I, I, I wasn't at a place in my life where I should have, she should have given me the time of day, but I guess that's my opinion. And women oftentimes have different standards and I guess look for other things other than monetary or stability, but well, it's, I guess maybe that's kind of true and kind of something you find on a Hallmark card. Anyway, <sighs> sitting at her place one night and I'm, I'm kissing, we're kissing and everything else and things are going well and I tried taking her pants out. She's like, nope. I'm like, okay, sure, cool, sweet, awesome, okay, whatever. She said, I want you to hold me. And I don't remember exactly how we got on that conversation, but she's like, I want you to hold me. And I said, okay. So I held her and she said, I want to fall asleep with you like this. And I said, okay. So I fell asleep with her like that. And it was the most peaceful loveliest sleep I've ever had in my whole entire life. And I woke up with a beautiful woman in my arms and she had the cutest smile on her face. And you know, I could just kick myself in the ass because had I had those memories when I went to Nanaimo, perhaps I would have been able to realize that that would be another memory worth having again. And it's not acted to my pushy uh, manly self, let's just say. Well, not pushy, just aggressive. Not overly aggressive. Don't get excited. Just very sort of horn doggy ish. 
but I guess what I'm trying to say is over the years, this old man, and I did have my memories per se, it was just more along the lines of not remembering that one particular incident and recognizing that that was a defining moment in how I now treat women by holding Michelle that night and by being comfortable with her and, and by just enjoying the moment and living right in that particular instant I was able to capture a feeling that I wouldn't trade for anything else at that particular time and even to this day for anything else in the whole wide world. And I guess from that point forward, I, I really started to value, you know, cuddling and, and intimacy. I wasn't big on intimacy before that, right? But I, I learned the value of intimacy, the value of connecting and of having that connection and of getting closer to a woman in that regard. And, and I mean, sex is sex, right? And making love is, is truly where it's at. I mean, when you find that woman that you want to be with, living in that moment, connecting and being one, that's fucking, that's cool. That's not even the best way that I can put that, but that's cool. By living in that moment, by connecting, by being one, by turning into one sort of live creature, I guess just being in that one moment. But I miss that. I really do. I, I, I honestly, I miss, I miss intimacy, I guess. I miss... You know, I, I feel as if for the past as many years I've been emotionally deprived. My needs have not been met. With the exception of one girl in Nanaimo that was 18. Don't everybody fucking throw shit at me all at once. Um, that was 18 years old. And yes, that was probably not the smartest of ideas. I get it. But it had been seven years for me. It hadn't, I hadn't been with a woman since Cheryl. Um, this happened twice and then I, I put the kibosh on it. But I miss intimacy. And I miss sharing that with someone my own age. You know, and, and there's age, like... 40 and 20 doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? 40 and 18 doesn't work. Because I'm at a different stage in my life than you are. Just like 60 and 20 doesn't work, 80 and 20 doesn't work, and so on and so forth. Because I'm at a different stage in my life than you are. <coughs> it's like the music, the movies that I grew up listening to and watching, the books that I grew up reading completely different than what you did. I want somebody that I can listen to and sit down with and, and relate to and, and talk about things with that, you know, she understands where I'm coming from and I get where she's coming from is I guess what I'm trying to say. And I'm very picky and I'm very selective and it's gotten kind of to the point where to a certain extent I have to be picky because I'm like a fucking narcissistic magnet and I have to guard myself from certain women that are very abusive and not very uh, empathetic or caring. And I'm not saying, you know, I, I don't think, I'm not being too presumptuous by saying it could happen with like a younger woman, but... It would have to be a more mature woman because I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I do have a certain amount of maturity and I'm not going to settle for a woman that wants to, is still in that whole, you know, I want to go out to the bar. I want to 
fuck all night and drink all night and do drugs and go eat greasy breakfast in the morning. That's not where I'm at anymore. And I don't really think I was ever really there. So I guess what I'm trying to say is um, I miss intimacy. And I miss cuddling. That by no stretch of the imagination means that I am not able to be a man when it comes to the bedroom or anywhere else for that matter. But taking a break from my toxic masculinity for just a second, I miss intimacy. I miss holding a woman and I miss being held. And I know I'm gonna get an incredible amount of flack for that. I don't give a fuck. That's how I feel. I'm gonna get the schooling done. I feel as if I've gotten my mind and my priorities. Some doors opened up for me today that weren't open before. And I feel pretty confident that this is going to work. Thank you. God bless YouTube. And have a great night.